one of the unique things about Puget Sound is it's surrounded by Seattle, Tacoma, heavily populated areas. And being that it may be a nursery for these sharks, they're staying in the water a long time before they head off into the Pacific. And we're just trying to figure out what they're absorbing in their body and may, how that may affect them in the long term. Andy, Andy, do you copy? Do you copy? What's the situation down there? I copy you, Andy. I copy you. Two sharks. That's great. Is uh, Travis going to make an attempt to uh, get a biopsy on one of them? Over. We have a small four-foot female shark, and Travis is going to attempt to biopsy. Over. Travis, you're going to biopsy. The biopsy is a success. The skin sample, along with information about the shark's size and sex, will be forwarded to scientists for further study. Andy, how is the shark reacting? Is it taking off or is it sticking around? Over. The shark swam off, but not rapidly. I expect it back soon. Over. Copy that, Andy. We'll see you on the surface. Uh, over and out. Before this trip, I had no idea what a six-skill shark even looked like. But now, I can honestly say that after diving with them, I want to go back. I want to learn more. I think this is just the beginning. I think a lot of people are going to want to experience these sharks underwater. These animals are facing quite a few threats living so close to people, so hopefully diving with them, filming them, and learning about them might help them to stick around another 200 million years.